What's up, guys? It's Nerf CEO. Today I'm doing a Vulcan review. Now I know this gun is from like 2008, but uh, I got a belt for it finally. Um, I don't know if I've said it in my other videos. I don't think I have. But I didn't have a belt. Got this from Goodwill a long time ago, like in I guess at the end of 08 or like October. And so um, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I have never done this gun full auto when I had a belt, and I don't know what happened to it. I just used to at the TV and stuff, and so yeah. Um, so I'm just pretty much going to be taking this belt out and uh, piecing it together. So yeah. So pull some tape off of the side, and this probably will take it all the way apart. Like I can pull this plastic off. That seems to be it. It's kind of sticky on there still. Looks like another piece of tape. Hmm. There was some inside on this gun. It was the first Nerf. It was Nerf's first full auto, fully automatic blaster. Now there's two more. The new 2011 Dark Tank Swarm Fire and the, of course the Stampede. And there's a Stampede video. Will be in an annotation somewhere around here. Probably over my face. Uh, come on, tape. I want to do this review. Gosh. There you go. That's a fuck boy. Yes, there is. Why did I say that? Oh, those new whistles look nice. And they've got my initial on them. K. Let's pull this back off if we can. That was easy. Too bad I don't have a button. Mm. Okay, pull this plastic off. Wow. Don't tell me things. See, the screen dummy. Yeah, it says 09, so I guess they started doing these 2009. Uh, yes, I see the air restrictors, pretty much. Um, let me just put one in there, see how nice that fits. Oh, it fits pretty nice. I'll push it back. What? It fits nice. We nerfers talk different than you, non nerfers. Okay, I, wanna, I guess I'll shoot. A, is this 25? Let's count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, and I'm close to dummy, so it's kind of twenty-six, but the dummy doesn't shoot. We're doing a review in here. You mean what? Pause. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh. I guess I'll fire like I'm gonna. I guess I'll fire five with stock. How we doing on time, Kelsey? Eleven. Eleven minutes. Seconds. Cause we had to restart. Remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's not been a belt in here in a long time. Let's put that to the side. Well, no. Before I fire it at all, I just tell you the rest of what this comes with. Couple of the tripod that it's sitting on, just clamp them together, and there's a thing where that can be better. I'm probably gonna do that mod for it. This goes in. How does it go into the side? It's like just like a little coupler. I clip dragged into his Tron Mavericks. Please enter that contest. So it goes in there. There's a flip up little thingy like the recon barrel. Um, the battery pack. Pretty nice. Doesn't work with the stampede though. The battery pack cover up. Sure that screws in there. Okay. Um, yeah. I've also got, uh, dang it, my long shot scope and my recon sight. Not sight, uh, laser. And I'll put the, why won't this go on there like that? I don't see what's wrong with it. It doesn't go from the back. Oh, yes it does. Well then. That's a little dumb now. Pointing out the camera. Mm. That's kind of nice. Never been any accessories on there. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Let me do a, let me stand up with the, uh, what is this? Band oil. I just put it on there really quick. And I know that people probably wasn't, wouldn't use it. Um, because I really don't like band, the band oil that much. I'd rather get a tactical vest. But that's how it looks, that's over my neck. And yeah. Wow. 
Even when I thought to put it on the tripod, even though it's not on there, really. Okay, let me... Okay, now I guess I'll do a really quick fire test. I'm taking this black pot off. It's pissing me off. Okay. I will do five bullets. Is dying on the camera, so I will try to do this very fast. That's probably not the way you'd put it in, but that's for now. Okay, I'll just keep firing at the camera. And I know it's fine. Mm -hmm. And I know that'll probably mess with the motor, but I need to get it out. Okay, I'll get these bolts. And we will put the batteries in. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the batteries in. Okay, so I have 60 batteries that were used in the Stampede. Uh, they're in pretty good condition. They fired at about 2 to 2.5 two bolts per second last time I used it, which was earlier. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. I hope that's going in. Nope. That's good. Okay. Make sure it's off. So it should be off now. Okay, now I will load the chain. And fire. Okay. okay, it's Nerf CEO, and I have finished putting the bolts. As you can see, there's a dummy in the Vulcan and the batteries down there. It's, it's kind of heavy. It's not, it's a little heavier than a Stampede. But, um, yeah, so now I'm going to do the fire test, and then I will do the ranks. Okay. Alright, I'm going to switch it on right here. There. Okay. Um, yeah, here's the belt. The empty belt. And there's all the darts. Uh, and something that you can do, if you don't want to have to have a belt in there, that I just figured out, just hold this button, and there you can see, it this off. Oh, come on. There you can see it rotating. And what's ha what happens when you throw it out of the way. So you can start like that. I don't know what good it'll do. It fires like two at the start. But yeah, I'll switch that back off. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, the rights for this gun. Um, for weight, I think that I will give this gun a seven. Because it's a little heavier than the Stampede. And the Stampede gets kind of heavy at times, like when you're running. But that's why people do RC battery mods. And let me get this so you can see the other gun. Um, I should have fired this with other bullets. But I'm gonna do a firing test of like every single one of my guns. Um sometime soon. Um my my uh Bandorular kit walkthrough will be up soon. A bunch of stuff. I just really don't have time to see my brother ever because he's always either working or at his friend's house or at my grandma's house or at the library because he's a real smart dude up to Chris. And, um, so, yeah, I really never see him, but, um, he's the only place I can do Windows, so, yeah, I'll have a bunch of videos up soon, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, uh, for distance, oh, and before rank for getting this gun, um, the before rank, I thought this gun was, um, probably going to be a 9, because I knew that it was going to be heavy since it required batteries. But when I got it, I didn't know that it took batteries, and so I was just firing single at the TV. 
for that. Um, um, let's see. For distance, I think that this gun would be getting a 9. Um, 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 what am I saying? I re didn't really do an accuracy test, but distance, I think I'll give it a 9. Because, I mean, it was hitting the uh, mirror at just about the same place each time. Maybe, like, in a little circle difference. And for accuracy, I'd probably give it an 8. Um, so, I mean, because, like, I mean, for accuracy, a 9, and for distance, well, no, distance 9 and accuracy 8. I mean, it was going around the same place, and it looked like it'd go 30 plus feet. I mean, if it had brand new fresh batteries in it, <coughs> then, yeah, this thing would definitely hit over 35 feet. But, so, yeah, I guess the overall rank would come out to an 8. Um, yeah. Sonic Darts. Woohoo! Um, when I do the video, um, what I'm probably gonna do with this gun is do where the belt will just, I'll tie the dummy, maybe, together, or, like, tape it with the other part, with the last bullet, and so it'll just go around back in a circle. And, um, maybe I'll take the dummy off and use that belt cord to just put in the bullet case. To, to put to the side of the bullet case, the last one that doesn't have any on the side. So, it'll just revolve around. But then the box will have no use. Uh, but whatever. It seems better to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, so this is, uh, my Vulcan review. Me being Nerf CEO. And I'll give you one more quick burn. Wait, turn on. That's my Vulcan review. Make sure to check out Yoon13's Gatling Vulcan. Should be done soon, and when it is, it'll be in a link here. Alright, uh, this is, so, this is Nerf CEO signing off, and when I come back there, I am going to click it!